Hello everyone, welcome back to Gajaroy Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Asus ROG Ally fingerprint reader is not working and how we can fix it. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one, when the fingerprint reader is not working or not detecting on your Asus ROG Ally, the first step what you need to try is a basic one that is all about, you have to try with a simple restart. So, to do a simple restart on your ASUS device, what you need to do is we just need to tap over here in this particular start icon. Now from here we have to go to the power option over here you can see. Just tap on this particular power option and we have four options, sign in option, sleep, shutdown, restart. Go for restart. Once restart is successfully done, just try with signing it back. I mean try with the fingerprint reader is not working or not. So if that is not working, we can move to the next few steps. Next step is all about we need to try set up another fingerprint. Maybe that can fix the issue. So to do this, we just need to go over here in the search. From here, we need to go to settings over here, tap on the settings. Once you tap on the settings, you need to first tap on the accounts over here in the left. You can see accounts, tap on the accounts. Now from here, we just need to scroll down and we need to go to sign in option. You can see second one is there is a sign in option. Tap on this particular sign in option. Now from here, if you go over here, you can see there is an option called fingerprint recognition and you have to tap on this particular one fingerprint recognition. When you tap on this, there is actually one fingerprint is added from my side, but that is not working. So from here, what you need to do is we just need to add another fingerprint. For this, just go for setup another fingerprint. You can tap on add finger over here. Once you tap on add finger, you will be getting rest options to how to add it. So you can add the fingerprint. Afterwards, try with both the fingerprints. So one which already is not working can be fixed by this particular one. Set this up and once after that, you log in back. You can also remove the older one so that the, this particular new one will be working fine. So after trying with the setting up a new fingerprint, you are still not satisfied with this. You can check for the next one. That is all about we have to check for the biometric driver updates. For so just go over here in the search, we have to go to device manager over here. Now from here in the device manager, you can see over here in the fourth one, there is one thing called biometric devices. So just tap on the bio biometric devices, not Bluetooth, tap on the biometric devices and we need to expand it. So, okay, let me do it once again. So once you expand the biometric devices, just press and hold like this. You have to press and hold the respective one. There is an option called update driver or you can make sure just tap on the update driver so now go for search automatically for drivers. So it states that the drivers is up to date and the latest version is already installed on your devices. So you are fine with this one. So you need to close this. You just need to close this and you have to go back. Just go back and see whether the issue is solved. Because updating the biometric driver can also sometimes fix the bugs. So that can next time when you try to log in, it will be working fine with the fingerprint. Even after trying this, it's not working. You can try with the next one. You can check for the software update. Just go over here in the search, go for settings over here. Now from here we can go to Windows update. So make sure the Windows is up to date. So if you're having any kind of updates like cumulative updates are pending, or if you're having any kind of updates are there, you just need to update it to the latest version because sometimes this, the previous version of Windows, when the latest versions are rolling out, the up bugs will be completely fixed. So you can try this, this out as well. Once you're done with this one, you just need to close this and we need to go back. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to check for uh, what we need to do is we just need to reinstall the biometric driver. So just go over here in the search and we need to go to the device manager once again. Go to the same over here in the biometric devices. You have to go over here in the biometric. Press and hold this like this. You have to press and hold. So uh, you'll be getting the option. There is an option called uninstall the device. So once you go for uninstall the device, try reinstalling back the biometric driver because for many of the users when they uninstall the driver when they reinstalling it back it worked for many of the users so you can try with uninstalling and reinstalling the biometric devices and most probably the issue will be completely fixed so even after trying with this the issue is still there and it is fixed most probably the issue will be completely fixed with this because these possible workaround are given by even in the reddit for many of the users when they uninstall and reinstall the biometric driver 
and for few users when they add a new fingerprint it worked for them so you can try these steps as well so this is how you can fix when your asus rog ally the fingerprint is not reading and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye